Good day to viewers, the Colonel speaking to you live from the Preceptory on Christmas Eve for British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. We've got some festive records. No, don't run, all run at once. Here we go with Columbia DB667, The Laughing Policeman's, I'm not making this up, The Laughing Policeman's Christmas Eve. Parts 1 and 2, A Surprise Visit, and then we go on The Haunted Grange. Oh, no! It's a cat! Ah. Anyway... Sung by Charles Penrose, K. Connor and F. Hearn. Nothing to do with any auctioneers of gypsy extraction. Here we go, viewers. I'll turn over halfway through. Christmas comes but once a year tonight. It's Christmas Eve. We're going to have a jolly time, but I've got three days leave. I've asked the sergeant and his wife to spend their Christmas here. He's going to bring the whiskey if I provide the beer. <laughs> Isn't that dang Christmassy, Robert? I love the weights, don't you? Yes, they're all right, Mary, but I don't like the other sort. What sort? Sergeant MacTavish and that fella from Hull. You ought to see them at a bar. We're christening them the weights. <laughs> I bet they're too mean even to spend Christmas. <laughs> You're going to make some meat pies, Mary. You know. Like Mother used to. Well, I will, if you can put up with indigestion, like Father used to. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Robert. Give me a kiss under the mistletoe. Right, oh. You've been eating onions. Go away. I wouldn't kiss you under gas. <laughs> and you want promotion. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're good for you physically. If they do pull you down socially. <laughs> you that is Mary I expect it's the beer <laughs> <laughs> hello Sergeant Evergreen what's the matter you look as happy as a fly in a tin of Keating <laughs> yes you won't laugh when you hear the news there'll be no Christmas for me and Robert there's been funny goings on at the Grange at Slampton we've got to investigate you Ooh. mean the big house on the hill they do say it's haunted spooky looking place there was a murder there some time ago, and they never found out who did it. Oh, Sergeant, I feel all creepy. Yes, it appears the owner turned up from foreign parts, sudden-like, a few nights ago, and said he wanted to spend Christmas in the old home. The next morning, the caretaker went down and found him huddled in a big chair, dead. He's been strangled. You are making me feel nervous. <laughs> come on, Robert. We'd get, better get a move on. <laughs> Let me come too, Robert. What about it, Sergeant? Well, as it's Christmas Eve and I've got nothing in the orders again, it, why not? You'll cheer us up with that giggle of yours. Well, then, what about a little drink? Just to keep out the cold, eh, Sarge? <laughs> well, it must be only one. We've got to keep our wits about us. <laughs> we heard the old saying, Mary. Where there's a swill, there's a sway. <laughs> <laughs> well, cheerio. Chin, chin. Here's to promotion. Here's, Here's to jolly old Christmas. Here's to jolly old Christmas. Here's to jolly old Christmas. <laughs> Hmm, right, on to the other side. I'm already regretting this. I used to live at the Grange. It wasn't a funny, haunted old place. Here we go. Well, this looks like the house, Robert. Dismal looking place, more like one of the ruins that Cromwell knocked about a bit. <laughs> Better knock. Yes, I'll knock and the spirits will appear. <laughs> no knocker. I'll ring. Good evening, gentlemen. I'm real glad to see you. Come in, do. It's an awful night. Will you come in the library and I'll get you some refreshments? Oh, oh no. D don't sit there, Mum. It, it was in that chair we found him. His favourite chair. <laughs> Now, you and Mary go to bed, Robert. Can't do much afore morning. I'll just have a prowl round. All right, Sarge. Come on, Mary. Good night. Good night, Good night. Robert. how I hate this house. It gives me the creep. Just look at that four post of bed. Oh, I shan't get a wink of sleep. What's that, Robert? Whatever can it be? 
Who's there? Do you mind if I come in and get an extra blanket for the sergeant? I wouldn't like him to feel cold, Mum. Good night. Thank you kindly. Can you hear anything, Rob? Sounds like music. That's queer. Robin, it's an omen. There's going to be another murder. Don't be silly, Mary. You'll make me nervous in a minute. Do you remember in the ringer? The man who always played the piano when he was thinking out a murder. Oh, for the love of Mike, be quiet. I'm going to see what it is. <laughs> oh, pull yourself together, Mary. With only the cat walking over the piano. <laughs> oh, I'm going to sit in this chair by the window. It's a lovely room. Look, Robert. There's a man creeping across the lawn. Oh, I'm going after him. <laughs> Don't leave me. Oh. <laughs> what was the matter, Robert? Your uniform's torn. Did you catch him? <sighs> Takes your old man to lay the ghost. I caught him after the struggle. Desperate criminal, I should say. I got him handcuffed and trussed up in the cupboard. This will mean promotion, my girl. <laughs> oh, well, uh, let's go and see if he's safe for the night. <laughs> Where's your torch, Robert? Let me have a look at him. <laughs> You've given him a black eye. <laughs> oh, what have you done? <laughs> promotion. <laughs> Blimey, it's the sergeant. <laughs> I don't believe it. That was it. Well, it was the cat walking on the piano fort. My cat's never done that. Oh well, hopefully you enjoyed it. It is Christmas Eve. I suppose we have to be generous. Thank you and goodbye.